and um, we, we have to get better in that situation. We just do. Thanks a lot. All right. Stacy. I'm good, Matt. All right. Kyle? I'm good, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Rob? Yeah, Matt, you've already I heard your uh, response to Pete's question about three-point defense. Um, one thing that you've been really good at against Illinois over the years is psychology, whether it's not guarding Chester Frazier and daring him to shoot or Lou Jack getting up in Brandon Paul's grill and kind of mentally taking him out of the game. And from what we've seen from uh, Illini basketball this year, you've got Starks and Cosby who either go on a shooting spree or can't hit the broad side of a barn. Right. Also, some people have been laying off Jalen Tate and daring him to shoot in the same way as Chester Frazier. I wonder if there's anything that you can do in the beginning of the game to try and get in their minds and set them off on the wrong streak. Yeah. I think for us, and I've already mentioned this, um, we, we just have to take care of it and, and do good things on the offense. I really think if we play good offense, Rob, I, I think it's really going to help us on the defensive end. It just sets our defense. They're, 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 they're dangerous in transition. And then when they get those, those transition rhythm threes, and then they get their heads up. And then, you know, um, Nunn, you know, he got a couple of his rhythm ones in the half court right away. Then I think you're in trouble. And that happened with us with D.J. Newble. He got his head up in that second half. He has 10 or 11 points, like 11, 12 minutes to go, and he ends up with 37. He just got into one of those rhythms, and, and we have to limit that. Kind of going back to what you're saying, the Chester Frazier situation is we didn't even discuss it as a staff. We had no intentions on doing that in the game. Um, our bigs got in foul trouble, and I didn't think we could guard Sean Pruitt. Um, but I did. I thought if we went small with that, I didn't think they could guard us. And, and so I just said, well, let's go small. They're going to struggle to guard us at the other end and then not guard somebody. And then he had the lowest three-point field goal percentage. Um, so we just said the hell with it. You know, I, I'd rather, you know, him shoot perimeter shots than Sean Pruitt, you know, get all our whole team into foul trouble and shoot layups. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of how we went to that. And then Lou just gets under people. That's what Lou does every game. And so he was great at doing that. And sometimes those big guards, you know, they say, hey, you put that little guy and you take him in the post. Well, if you got somebody on your team while you take him in the post that can't shoot, we'll just keep our guy down in there and we'll full front, and then you're not going to get anything. And now you're also doing some things out of your offense. Um, so Lou was that way. Um, you know, before some of those big guards don't don't like those little quick guys getting underneath them, and um, you know he, he's he was very good for us. He, he really um, played his role and really helped us win games. Thanks, man. All right, no problem. Anybody else? All righty. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. The host has left the meeting, so at this time the meeting will come to an end. Thank you and goodbye.